rather unusual location for today's video. This is due to my equipment being in studio, so I decided to record this video here. Today's topic was inspired by a conversation I heard on train. Two teenagers were talking about introverts and one of the guys said that introverts are those who hate other people. So, introvert, I'm sure you heard of these guys, read articles and maybe even thought it's kinda cool and suspected yourself in introversion. Let's talk about it. Introverts live in their own world and the most valuable thing for them is their personal space. Introverts have kind of bubble around them. This bubble helps them to save their energy. While introvert is inside, he feels safe and comfortable. Comfort zone for introvert is everything he got used to. His house, his car, his office. Introverts are also absolutely fine with people they knew for a while, especially family and friends. Basically, everything that is well known by introvert can be categorized as comfort zone. So, what makes introvert, introvert? Imagine a person inside the bubble. The bubble helps to save introvert's energy. And uh, introvert tries to maintain an integrity of the bubble by any means. When people intrude into introvert's personal space, it drains the energy. A big social event or something spontaneous, unplanned can destroy the bubble. And then this person would need a significant amount of time to restore the energy and recover from energy devastation. It sucks, right? Introvert would feel depressed, apathetic, and creative introvert may experience creative blocks. And this explains why introvert strives to maintain a safety of his personal space. Typical introverts are quiet persons. They rarely communicate by their own initiative. In fact, uh, introverts tries to limit their communication with the world as much as possible. And this explains why a lot of people think that introverts hate other people. Introverts does not hate other people. Unconsciously, they try to save their energy and personal space. That's all. So they are kind of blocking everything that may harm their, their comfort zone. Some introverts are really good actors. You would never say this person is an introvert and uh, this is due to their work or status. They usually have to communicate a lot. They're loud, communicative, energetic. You would never say they're introverts. They look like actually extroverts. What's the difference between extrovert and introvert? The conceptual difference between extrovert and introvert is that extrovert is communicative, energetic, fun, loud. He enjoys to be surrounded by people uh, because extroverts suck energy. Introverts, on the other hand, give energy away. It's logical behavior for introverts to block everything that might harm them or drain their energy levels. They're limiting communications with outer, outer world as much as possible. So why am I talking about extroverts and introverts? Is limiting your communications with outer world the best decision? Introversion is tricky. There are different levels of it and different types of it. But it's never a good idea to isolate yourself from outer world. Think about it. Isn't it better to train yourself how to restore your energy faster instead of always trying to maintain the safety of your bubble and, you know, disconnecting from the world? The growth equals being out of comfort zone. Remember? For introvert, it's almost a permanent state. It is challenging. But, as usual, it's worth it. Over time, your bubble will become almost indestructible and your energy levels won't drain as quick. Couple of advices to restore your energy quicker. Do not keep your head overloaded 100% of time. Chill for a while, take a bath or sit in a quiet room and think about anything you want except those things that bothers you, obviously. You can even do a proper meditation. Try it. There are good apps available that will help you meditate properly. When you let all your overwhelming thoughts go away for a while, it 
helps your brain to reboot and then you restore your energy faster. Second way to restore your energy is to do what you enjoy the most. Endorphin helps in any situation. One of the advices that you probably heard thousands of times is avoid negative people. If you are introvert, keep in mind that these negative people sucking your energy twice as fast. If someone is provoking a conflict or tries to drop his negativity on you, try to ignore it or go away. Introverts are usually creative and dreamy, shy and quiet, but when you get closer, there's a whole new world hidden inside.